Okay, Bismillah. Next, we're going to move to Nahu. Did, the, did Nasreen send you the, the Nahu book this morning? <coughs> Let me just see. Yes. Yes, Maulana. Okay, so I added a new section to the Nahu. Here quickly. Um, I'm actually every week working on the Nahu book, so inshallah, it's getting done. You can see last modified 2.28 a.m. It takes a while to, to write the books, mashallah. So, Bismillah. I'm not going to go through any old answers this week, this week inshallah. I'm going to go through something new this week. Okay, so this, this sheet is either on your WhatsApp or it's on the shared drive if you want to access it. So, we'll do this today, inshallah. It's a new lesson. I'm going to go back just to the introduction here at the beginning. What are we doing here? We are doing all the things in in Raf'un. We are doing all the things in in Raf'un. So if I go to the beginning here. So this is a list of everything in Raf'un. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six things in Raf'un. Number one, it is the fa'il, the doer of a, of a word, of a verb will always be in Rafun. For example, Nasara Zaydun Fa'il will always be in Rafun Samiran will be always be in or Samiran will always be in Nasbun there. But Rafun yeah the Fa'il will always be in Rafun. Number one. The Naibul Fa'il will always be in Rafun. Nusira Samirun Samir was help. The Naibul Fa'il will always be in Rafun. The Mubtara will always be in Rafun and Masjidu Kabirun Masjid will always be in Rafun. Khabar will always be in Rafun Al Waladu Tawilun always been Rafun. So today we come to number five. The only six things always in Rafun. Today we are number five, which is Ismukana wa Akhawatiha, which we're doing today, inshallah. So for some of you, especially the second years, and uh, maybe for some others of you, that this lesson is a, a new lesson. And for some of you, it will be revision, inshallah. So, let's read through the notes and then we can work from there, inshallah. Utara. Number one, so you can read with me. Number one, adding, I don't literally, I mean you can just follow with me. Adding kana or one of its sisters. So what does sisters mean? We'll come to later on. Adding kana, the word kana, to a noun-based sentence. So can someone just tell me in Arabic, what's a noun-based sentence in Arabic? What do you call a noun-based sentence in Arabic? Jumlatul ismiya. It's a jumlatul ismiya. Okay, a jumlatul ismiya normally as a mubtara and as a khabar. So if I add kana before a jumlatul ismiya, can someone give me an example of jumlatul ismiya quickly? Just shout out one quickly. Anyone? Allahu Rahima. Allahu? Allahu Rahimun Rahimun. Okay, so I'll leave the kind of so, so normal sentence could be Allahu Rahimun. Allah is all merciful. Jumatul Ismiya normally has two parts: the focus Allah and the news Rahimun. Allah is all merciful. So when I add kana to a a sentence like that, a noun based sentence, a Jumatul Ismiya, there are three changes that take place. Number one. Number one, let's follow with me here. Yeah? Number one, can I make a laser pointer thing here? Can you make a laser pointer thing here? Yeah, even a, okay, yeah. Yeah, there's my laser thing there. The number one here. Yeah. The first change is that there's a meaning change. So when I add kana to a jumatul ismiya, there's a meaning change. Kana changes the meaning of the sentence to a past tense meaning. In other words, it becomes was. For example, if I have a rajulu tawilun, it means the man is tall. If I add kana rajulu tawilan, it means the man was tall. So it makes the sentence in the past tense number number one. Number two, three changes. What was termed the mubtada before? It's still there, but now I changed the name to ismu kana. I changed the name to 
ismu kana. And what was term the khabar before? I now term it khabru kana. And this changes to nasb. This changes to nasb. So do a demonstration rather, because I think a live demonstration always works better. Um, let me just close the annotation here. So if I add a slide quickly, now if I have a, a sentence here, this sentence me reads as al. Just center this thing quickly. Um, Uh, let's take a sentence quickly. Al baytu kabirun. Al baytu kabirun. Al baytu kabirun. Okay. That means what? That means what? The biggest. The house is big. Not the big house, the house is, is big. Good. Now, if I enter kana onto, onto that sentence, what's the first change? Changes to past tense. It's going to change the meaning to the past tense. In other words, I'm going to say the house is big. I'm going to say the house was big. So I'm changing the first meaning is, the first change is, it will change it to the past tense. The house was big. Okay. Let me just move the translation, translation down quickly. Okay. The house was big. That's the first change. So if I add kana, that's going to be the, the first change. If I add kana, it's the first change. What's the second change? The Muqtada becomes the Ismukana. Okay, so the Muqtada here, uh, I can rather just add a text, text box right there. The Muqtada now is now called what? Ismukana. So I don't, I don't uh, call it uh, Muqtada anymore. I call this thing here, I call this Ismukana. Okay, and then what's the second change? And then this thing stays in the rough one. What's the next change? Change number three is what? Bismillah. Khabar kana. The is khabar kana. I call this now khabaru kana, and what do I do at the end? Change it to nasb. I change this to, to nasb. nasb. Okay. Okay. So if that is all you can remember today, that, I mean, there's a long list on this, but if, all, if that's all you can remember today, that is going to be good for now, especially if it's your first time, if you haven't done it before, if it's your first time, just to remember that if I have a Jumlatul Ismiya, like Al Baytu Kabirun, and I enter Kana, there are three changes. Number one, it changes the tense to past tense, so is becomes was. Number two, what was the Muqtada, Al Baytu, is now called Ismukana and remains in Raf'un. Mm. What was the Khabr is now called Khabrukana and now it becomes Naspun, which is a big change. It becomes Naspun. So that's going to be the, the main core lesson for today. Next. But we're carrying on, obviously, but I'm saying that's the point number one. So if I have, I'll go to example in the textbook now. Example, if I have a rajulu tawilun, if I have a rajulu tawilun, the man is tall. This is a noun based sentence. When kana is added, it becomes kana a rajulu tawilan, the man was tall. Now I call a rajulu ismu kana, it will stay in raf'un, and I'll, I'll call tawilan, tawilan, khabru kana. And will change to Naspun. So this is the, the main lesson here in this in this block here. But there's lots, lots, lots more. So let's carry on with a little bit more. Kana has a number of sisters. 
So let's go to the sister at the bottom here. Kinda means was or used to. What used to? Used to? Is used to like a good English? I don't know. He used. Is that, is that like good English? Is that like a Cape Town thing? <laughs> he used to go to the shop. I think it's a Cape Town thing. Is it used to or used to? Used to? No, I man. Sound, you know, sometimes when you live in Cape Town your whole life, you forget what proper English is. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, say a man went to the mosque every day and then he passed away. Then you say, the man used to frequent the man used to frequent the mosque. I only obey. I don't even obey my I think someone else has other on. Okay, on the video. Okay, so those of you who can answer me, but I think it's used. Okay, I must think about whether it's good English or not. Anyway, kinda means was or used to. Number two, ma kinda means just was not. Was not. Laysa means not. Laysa means not or is not. Asbaha means to enter into the morning, number one. Like I can, if you wake up in the morning, I can ask you if you're a male, kefa asbahta. How did you enter into the morning? If you're a female, kefa asbahti. Or if you're a group of people, kefa asbahtum. So asbaha means to enter into the morning or it can mean just to become. For example, if I can say asbaha waladu rajulan, it means the boy became a man. So it just means to, to become as well. Amsa means to enter into the morning. Like we make the dua, Allah, bika asbahna, bika amsayna, or amsay to us, or amsa mukalilla, mukalilla, any of those. Amsa means to enter into the evening, or it means to become as well. Mazala means to continue. Kada means almost, and madama means as long as. Okay. So let's do it verbally quickly. If you want to answer, you can answer with your mic, inshallah. If you want to answer, you can answer with your mic. Okay, well, Ashraf says that he used to, used to is correct. And Brother Ashraf isn't in Cape Town, from Cape Town, so he's an unbiased assessor of the word used to. So we have an external opinion from Cape Town that says that used to is correct. Mashallah. Okay. So let's just verbally, inshallah. If I say, Kana rajlu tawilan, what's the, what's the meaning of that? Kana rajlu tawilan. You can shout out the answer. Or you can type it in the box if you don't want to shout out. The man was, the man was not. The man is not was tall. tall. The man, man was, was tall. tall. Was tall. Was tall. Good. If I say ma kana rajulu tawila, that's the second one. The man, man was not tall. The man was not tall. So all I'm doing is I'm adding a sister of kana. If I say laysa rajulu tawila, the man is not tall. The man is not tall. If I say the man is not tall. If I say asbaha rajulu tawila, the man became the man became tall. The man became tall. Okay. If I say Amsa a Rajlu Tawilan. The man became the man became tall. The man became tall. If I say Mazala Rajlu Tawilan. The man continued to Like Mazala means like to continue or to remain. The man remained tall. Yes, remained a bit over then continued. Uh, just up to this clear, remain. Okay, Kada, you won't use like this because Kada is a special case. But this is the last one. Madama Rajru Tawilan. As long as the man is tall. As the long as the tall. man is tall. Okay, like or I can say like, like as long as just means like as long as something persists, as long as something remains. Okay, so that's going to be the sisters of, of Kana. So if you can just, you don't have to memorize them like a scale. But try to memorize some of these words. They're very common. Kana is very common. Ma kana is just the negative of that. Laysa is very common. Asbaha amsa is very common, especially in du'as. Allahumma bika asbahta, bika amsayna, bika nahim, bika namud, and so on. Asbaha amsa is very common. Ma zala. 
zala means for something to disappear and ma zala means for something to not disappear which means for something to continue continue for something to remain kada means almost like if i say kada rajulu yamutu it means the man almost died kana rajulu yamutu means the man almost died and madama means uh as long as as long as the heavens remain or something then something will will happen so when adding any of the sisters of kana like laysa for example same thing i add laysa there's number one there's a meaning change now it doesn't change the the the, the sentence to past tense laysa means not so it changes the sentences to is not so mm-hmm. rajulu tawilun means the man is to laysa rajulu tawilan means now the man is not to what was the mubtada i now i don't call, call ismu kana now because the laysa there i say ismu laysa if i add asbaha there it becomes ismu asbaha if i add amsa there it becomes ismu amsa and so on and the khabar if i add laysa there it becomes khabru laysa if i add asbaha it becomes khabru asbaha if i can add amsa it becomes khabru amsa depending on what's in the, in the front so the same three changes Number one, there's a meaning change depending on what meaning which one I choose. Number two is I call the thing ismu something instead of mubtada, and I keep it in the rafun. And number three, I call the other one khabru something, and I change it to nasbun. Okay. Just some last two points, and then we're done with the explanation. Although kana usually changes the meaning to past tense. In the Quran, the 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 usage is flexible for uh, rhetorical reasons. That sometimes it can also mean present, and sometimes it can yeah, mean future, depending on the on the on the context. Depending on the context. Okay, because if, if Allah is speaking about qiyamah and Allah is using the word kana, it obviously means Allah is speaking about the the future. So depending on the on the context. Final thing. Kana and its sisters are a special category of verbs. So listen carefully. This is like a strange thing, but all of these are verbs. For example, they have a verb scale. Like kana is like qala, qala, qalu, qalat, kulna. Kana, kanu, kanat, kunna. We do it next week, inshallah. But these are all verbs. Aspaha, aspahu, aspahat, aspahna. أصبحت أصبحتم أصبحتي أصبحتنا أصبحت أصبحنا إذا أو verbs كاد كادو كادت كدنا إذا أو verbs they are special category of verbs called ناقص deficient verbs ناقص verbs why are they called ناقص verbs doesn't matter why are they called ناقص verbs but they do not create a verb based sentence So when you see these verbs, you don't say jumatul fi'liya. Instead, they are the beginning, they are a sign that you have jumatul ismiya. Okay, so that's something about them. They're all verbs, but they don't create jumatul fi'liya. They actually only create jumatul ismiya. Okay, let's do some examples, inshallah. Each person can have one turn. Each person can have one turn on the voice chat, inshallah. So bismillah, number one. Who's going number one? Just translation. Kana nasu ummata wahida. Bismillah. I know you know all those words. Bismillah. Brother Ziyad, bismillah. The people are a single ummah. So, so, so is that past tense or present tense? Kana. The people were... A single okay. nation. Good. So, kana nasu means the people were ummatan wahidatan, a single nation. Good. Number two, ma kana Ibrahimu Yahudiyan. And you can see, okay, sorry, one pause. One, you can see there, there's a kana. A nasu is ismu kana, and ummatan is khabru kana, and wahida is sifa. Okay, next one. Ma kana Ibrahimu Yahudiyan. Says in the Quran, Bismillah. Ibrahim was not a Jew. Ibrahim, alayhi salam, was not a Jew. 
So if I, if I take out Makana and I only have Ibrahim, Yahudiyun, it will be Ibrahim is a Jew. If I say Kana Ibrahim Yahudiyan, it means Ibrahim was a Jew. If I say Ma Kana Ibrahim Yahudiyan, it means Ibrahim was not a Jew. So we have Ibrahim is going to be the ism of Kana yeah? and Yahudiyan or of Ma Kana, and Yahudiyan is going to be the Khabar of Ma Kana. You can see Afun and Nasfun. Next one. Kana wa'duhu maf'ula. A wa'ad is a promise, and maf'ula is that thing which the fi'l has been done. So you can say it has been executed. It has been made manifest. It has been brought into place. Bismillah. Who's next? Who's next? Bismillah. The promise was kept. Kana wa'duhu. Kana. So wa'ad means promise. Or wa'duhu means what? Means? His promise. His promise. His promise. So his promise was mm. maf'ula. Maf'ula means more. It, done. it has been fulfilled. done. It has been fulfilled as it has been executed. Okay. Next one. Wa ma aktharuhum mu'mineen. Wa ma aktharuhum mu'mineen. Wa ma kana. وما كان أكثرهم مؤمنين. And most of them were not believers. No, good. So وما كان means and not. أكثرهم means most of them. مؤمنين believers. Where's the اسم اسم ما كان؟ أكثرهم. أكثرو. The أكثرو. The أكثرهم. The أكثرو. And where's the خبرو اسم ما كان؟ Mu'minin. 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 And what happens Mu'minin in? Nasb. Nasb. This is going to be in? Nasb. It's going to be in? Nasb. Okay. So this year is going to be your homework. There's only stage one of of Ism Kana. Eh? There's still stage two and stage three. So what I'm going to urge you is that before we get to the next stage, because what I'm saying is this lesson has like three different levels. It has a number of different levels. Before we get into the other levels, um, if you can just please make sure that you get the first level done. In other words, you understand today's lesson, you read over the notes, and you definitely finish this example. And part of this example, yeah, I didn't actually add it here, but part of the example is, please translate and also please identify the ismu kana or the ismu asbaha, whatever it is, and the khabru kana. Okay. There's only 13 questions, so it should be quick, quick, inshallah. And then we've got the advanced lesson next week, inshallah. Okay, so that we end, end that with for, for Nahu, and we're going to have. Um,